you a permanent open <laughs> Yesterday I was out at the site where uh, the well is and uh, our efforts out there are making a big difference. I've flown over it many, many times since the very beginning and whether it's a collection of the oil on the seabed, or whether it's the use of skimmers and booming, and the weather itself. Uh, we've actually had almost two weeks of good weather now, and that means we could use all of our tools consistently for two weeks. And there is a lot less oil on the sea than there was, and that's important because if it gets away from us there, it ends up places like here, and it can create much more damage. I don't think the amount of oil coming out has changed. I, I don't believe, uh, you know, we said many times you can't meter it, you can't put a person down there to touch it, but just by watching it, we don't believe it's changed. There may be more gas coming out than before. That's the only thing that visually appears to be happening. Um, I think what has changed is, is things like the riser insertion tool. I mean, we collected 22,000 barrels of oil with that tool. That's 22,000 barrels that didn't get spilled. Um, the fact that we've had two weeks of good weather, I mean, yesterday we were only able to do one burn offshore because we couldn't collect enough oil. Um, our skimming, has its efficiency has gone way up because when the wave height is very low, the skimmers are much more efficient. They can collect as much as 50% of the fluid they bring in as oil, where when the, the seas are choppy, it's about 10. So I think that's the reason. Um, the subsea dispersant is making a big difference. Uh, since day three of this event, when the, uh, or day two when the rig sank, and it was day three when we discovered the, uh, the first leak on the seabed, we've been trying to stop this leak. We've been trying to do that. Um, we, we, people want to know which technique's going to work, and I don't know. Uh, it hasn't been done at these depths, and that's why we've had multiple options worked in parallel. To date, it hasn't yet stopped the flow. I mean, that's what I do know. Um, what I don't know is if it ultimately will or not. The next p phase of the plan is to go to this lower, mari lower marine riser package cap, which is a containment device, and then the next attempt to stop the flow would likely be putting another BOP on top of the existing blowout preventer.